Hi everybody. What are we talking about today? Oh yeah. Raindrop vapes, right? Yeah, I'm I'm late in the game on half of this, right? So uh we're gonna talk about this caramel custard right here. Okay? Caramel custard from raindrop vapes. It was sent in with the uh, Griffin 25 Plus order. Alright? I know, it's been months because I'm lazy. Sorry. But that's how it is. Now, yeah. good childproof bottle. Squeezy top. Alright? Really hard to read this. Warning, this product may contain nicotine, a chemical known to the state of California, and we'll stop right there, right? Because my prerogative. Ingredients, organic USP kosher grade vegetable glycerin, USP tobacco extracted nicotine, organic flavors. I have this loaded up, and not the Griffin. But uh, I haven't tried it this way yet, so I'm going to try it this way. And uh, we'll see how it goes. It's, it's sweet. And really, you, it's hard to pick out what that is. It's really difficult to pick out that scent. It's if I were to say caramel, it would be a really light caramel. All right, I'm just gonna redouse these wicks after that nice uh, hit. No, I did not fill the tank with this. Okay, did not fill the tank. I'm just gonna use this in dripping mode this will be really really above the uh, heat threshold that I was vaping this on before hmm. And I still get that flavor. It's sweet. But what I found with the organic flavors I have tried in the past and I am trying currently, it has that earthy tone to it. I know, it's all organic and nature and I get it. But I get that earthy tone and I don't care for that earthy tone. And earthy tone I mean kind of like a woodsy dirt. There is that sweetness like uh, uh, take down regular caramel topping flavoring for like ice cream. It has that kind of creamy caramely taste to it but cut down the flavor level to about a third and that's where I'm that's where I'm at with that a third of the flavor of regular caramel topping it does have that creamy note in it but I can't get past the earthy woodsy flavor that I get from that And I don't know why that is. There's been other companies that I've tried that uh, when they're all organic, I don't know if it's the, the VG or the, a different type of flavoring or what it is, but that's how it comes out to me. You might like it. And uh, thank you very much, Raindrop Vapes, for sending that on. But uh, not my cup of tea. Sweet and creamy, sweet and creamy. Let's move on to this guy. Move on to the Griffin 25.
plus right now if you watch the unboxing whatever you've seen the inside of this you've seen all that so it's basically going to be my thoughts on it um i love the look of this don't mind the ink on my hands i work with printers so uh i love the look of this unfortunately like most people i can't use it why can't i use it I swear these things are machined wrong. Other people have complained about this too. Um, up on in there. I think it's machined too far up in there. Because even with the top airflow open, closed, whatever, doesn't matter. Your tank will seep dry. Eventually. Max VG, whatever. With that top cap wicked correctly, so things flow nicely, it will seep out. All right, it just will. With the uh, plastic Delrin, whatever top cap that comes with it, extra in the box, doesn't happen ever. Of course, with most sub ohm rebuildable tanks however you want to put it it doesn't have to be a sub ohm if you don't build it a sub ohm but you know what I'm saying um, you lay them on their sides and they will leak I'm talking about putting that cap on cotton putting that cap on the nice chrome shiny looking one that looks just beautiful and it will seep every time just sitting perfectly straight up we'll just give a quick glance to what the deck looks like I got some fused Clapton's in there it's just wicked down to the bottom see where the juice holes I kinda wish um, and maybe maybe it was for the chrome cap reason I kinda wish the juice holes in the deck where the cotton is sitting on top of we're bigger I do um, I don't have any seepage issues while uh, using the plastic Delrin top plastics plastic to me whether you make it out of Delrin whether you make it out of Altum whatever it's plastics plastic to me it's plastic I gotta wipe that off. Get a little juicy and I don't even have nothing in the tank. Isn't it crazy? But yeah. I'm gonna throw this on the snow wolf. What I got in there, the fuse claptons are uh, 0.35 I think. 0.33. That's uh, 0.33. 57 watts. It's 4.3. Okay. Throw some juice in here. We'll vape on it. I wanted the tank empty just so I could show y'all what it looks like on the inside. I put twisted wire in there. Regular round build. Uh, I had another set of Clapton's in there at one point. They all work great in it. The only thing I wish I could use is that top cap because this in my opinion looks way better than this it's just all nice and you know it's all it's nice I like that look that look is awesome sadly it will just pour juice out not pour it out but it It'll just come dripping down the side of your mod and everything. Because, you know, I put stuff up there on the shelf. And I'll just have it just like this. And it'll just start pouring out the airflow. Somebody's going to say, well, while it's sitting, why don't you just close off the juice flow control? Problem solved. Because I like to just grab stuff and vape it. I don't want to grab it, fiddle with it vape it. I like to just I put this down at night. Go to bed. 
right? You gotta close the juice flow, just put it down, go to bed, wake up in the morning, click that mod on, start vaping. That's it. Because that's what we want to do. We don't want to sit there and play with everything we, you know. That's what build time is for. Just want to grab it and go. And the only way to grab this and go is to put that top on. Which is fine by me. I do like the look of this, but it is what it is. It works wonderful. Really like the Griffin 25 Plus. And I will link Raindrop Vapes. Uh, they still have the Griffin 25 Plus. It's like seventeen dollars. We'll go through some stuff here. It's like seventeen ninety five for the Griffin twenty five plus over at Raindrop Vapes. All right. You guys don't need specs on this or anything. It's all you need to know. For seventeen ninety five, sure, go over, check it out. Now uh, the caramel custard e juice, right? Got to do what we normally do here. Nine ninety-five for a fifteen mil bottle, and for a thirty mil bottle, it's going to be seventeen ninety-five. Mix strengths are zero, three, six, twelve, and eighteen. All right. Rich, gooey caramel with sweet, rich custard makes a decadent dessert vape. Wisconsin Caramel Custard E-Juice is made with premium quality VG and real caramel and custard flavors. Available in 0, 3, 6, 12 and 18 milligram of nicotine. Milligram per milliliter. Wow, they put the milligram per milliliter. Experience the flavor of sweet, rich caramel custard in the latest of our state flavor series. No PG, no diacetyl, non-GMO. You know. I know, some some folks are all about that natural lifestyle, but if I don't get that flavor the way I want the flavor, I don't know. I don't know. I do appreciate new juices being sent out for me to try, though. I do a lot of uh, juice stuff over here, and uh, it's nice to try new things. Even if they're not for me, it's nice to try new things. Thank you very much, Raindrop Vapes. Uh, links will be down in the bottom. Griffin 25. Try some juice out over there if you so please. Y'all have fun now. Because I know I will. Let me hear that. Click, click. <laughs>